Okay, in this video I'm going to be doing a tuning video on the uh, Diatone GT Tyrant 540. There's three versions of the Tyrant. There's the 630, the 540, and the 530. The 540 here is the one for 5-inch propellers and runs on 6S. It's for a 6S setup. And I'm using the Gemfan 5042 props here. I'm also using a the 6S LiPo. It's at 1000 milliamp hour. 6S LiPo. Um, I already did a review on this. I'll put a links to this video and all these products in the description. Uh, I have other videos as well. I, I've already done a review video on this one as, as well for the uh, tune that came out of the box and uh, they wanted me to do a 351 uh, tune on this one. Now you, if you want to get this tune right uh, you're going to have to have all the same stuff here. So if you're using 6 inch arms or if you, you're going 4S then this tune probably may not work for you so just keep that in mind. Plus I'm also flying around with the GoPro on here, with the GoPro mount. This is a STL file that they provide on their website. So extra weight there, you got to have the weight of this battery. So if you want to use the numbers that I'm going to be showing you in the flight demo, then you have to match the setup here. If you're flying the 530 with the 4S setup, then obviously these numbers are going to be different. I don't have that, so obviously that tunes that, I'm not going to have that tuned for that vi this video. And if you're Flying the 6S version on 4S, uh, again, I don't have that, that model, so this tune might not apply for you. Um, 351 has a pretty wide tuning envelope, so these numbers might work for you, and you might be able to use that as a starting point to start tweaking it, but yeah, uh, just letting you know that if you don't have the exact same stuff here, then your your mileage may vary. You, you may have okay performance, you may have pretty lousy performance, so just keep that in mind. And I'll go ahead, and I'll, really there wasn't that much I changed uh, for this tune. It seemed to fly really well on 351. On the default I just made some minor tweaks to I think feed forward and eye gain and I think that's pretty much it. So you'll see that in the flight demo. I'll go ahead and I'll show you that now. Okay so before I show you the flight demo I just wanted to clarify there are a few more things I did change in beta flight that not necessarily have to do with the PID tune but there are other settings that you're going to need to duplicate if you want to get the right tune here. So I'll just go ahead and show you what I did under configuration. I have my props reversed. Now that's optional for you. You can do that. You cannot do that. That's how I fly. Um, my PID loop is at 8, 8K, 8K. Um, I think the default is 8K, 2K. So this is how I set mine up. And I have the accelerometer off. And I also turned air mode on. I believe that's off by default. Any gravity or dynamic filter should be on by default. And then under PID tuning, uh, these are actually the final numbers after I did the flights. So you'll see that at the end. These are my feed forward numbers here and my eye gains. I think those are the ones I increased. But I have all of these other things turned on here under PID controller settings. Uh, 0.3 for the feed forward transition. That's not default. These three are default here for Acro Trainer, Throttle Boost, and uh, Absolute Control. Um, I turned on eye trim rotation, VBAT compensation, and um, smart feed forward and eye trim relax as you see here, as well as under eye trim relax I'm using the RPY axes and it's the gyro type. And I think that's it here. Then I have the anti-gravity gain up to 7 and a TPA of uh, 0.25. And I believe my filter settings are at default. Yes, so I didn't change any of the filter settings. And then under the receiver tab here, uh, I have RC smoothing set to filter with these settings here. And I think these are the defaults if you change it to filter. So yeah, those are all things you need to duplicate in Betaflight as well as add the numbers for the uh, in the, the PIDs and the feed forward and then you should be able to get the same flight performance that you see in the flight demo which I'm going to be showing you right now. Okay so these are the uh, PIDs I'm using. It's just stock default PIDs. Did turn on some things like I turn relax. Uh, watch the end of the video to uh, see all the things I changed besides the pids. Not a whole lot, and uh, we'll see how things go here. So I am flying with the GoPro, so it's going to be a little different from the original tune. So 
usually flying default on 351 is probably going to yield some good results. These are some super loud props. So I might not need, even need to change anything. It's a little little on the loose side but honestly it's really not that bad at all this is kind of what I was expecting 351 on default if you turn on things like I turn relax and feed, use the feed forward feature uh, usually will fly pretty good on a lot of the five inch on five inch props on I mean this is the 6s setup See, let's do some uh, full speed. So, not a lot of oscillation. I couldn't really see much. Let's try that again. Yeah, we'll have to see what comes out on the GoPro. Uh, if there's any jello or vibrations in the GoPro footage. Yeah, this is um, pretty good. I'm gonna land it and I think I might change, I might bump up the eye gain a little bit. I think it's a little sloppy. So I'm gonna land here and bump that up a little bit more. All right. I think that's really the only thing I would change. I don't hear any oscillations. Yeah, I'm gonna bump up I gain to like 50. I'm gonna all go up to 60. And pitch I six I'll make that like 65. And then yaw I also I'll bump that up to like 60. I think that's about the only thing I think I would change here. Uh, I like the feed forward there. I might even increase that a little bit. Depends on how, what what you guys like. It's all about feel. So let's save that. Let's see how that feels. All right. Yeah, that feels a little bit, a little bit better. Not as loose. Yeah. So I think that's the thing that I was, I was missing there. Just a little bit more eye gain. So I think that was it right there. Yeah, it's really steady. Yeah, so this one's a pretty easy tune. Most, most of the five inch tunes are not going to be that difficult unless you have really poor equipment you know like noisy motors or just bad bearings or bad ESCs if you have a bad ESC uh, you can't fix it with tuning sorry I know some people think that they can but it's not, I don't think it's possible oh I have a little battery warning already so at four minutes Interesting. Yeah. So I think that's going to do it for this tuning session. I think it's pretty good. I'll see what the GoPro footage looks like. I'll comment that on the uh, section after when I talk about what it, else I changed on the computer.